Hello, my name is Eric Hudson. Uh, most of you know me as Jesus or Jesus Eric. I've been going to computer shows since the like mid 90s. And I've been a member of SRAP, the Southwest Regional Association of Programmers, which is originally from the south side of Chicago, southwest side of Chicago, since I think 91. So in the early 80s, SRAP was formed as a marketing gimmick for a computer store that was on the southwest side. We interviewed the guy that started it, I think, at our 20th anniversary, and he was surprised that it had gone that far from the, the little marketing gimmick that they created. In the late 90s, everything Commodore started to sort of dry up, and it was getting harder and harder to find like-minded people. And so one of the things we would do, we would carpool or travel up to the Lansing Commodore Computer Group's Spring Expo. It started out as like a 9-to-5, 8-to-5 show. There was no hotel, no nothing. It's like at the end of the show, we would stand in a parking lot and, and say, hey, nice seeing you, you know. And then, you know, then we're like, well, you know what? Maybe, maybe we can go to dinner. We can find a buffet or something somewhere. We can go to dinner and we can chat some more. So we did that and we did that for a number of years. It got to the point where it's like, we really don't want to see all these people once a year. We, we want to see them more than once a year. So SRAP had money in their account, being a nonprofit. We're like, well, maybe we can hold an expo ourselves. And then that would be like two times we can see these people a year. You know, so we decided to be six months apart from the spring show. And that was the SRAP Fall Commodore Expo. And that's where the origins of that came. You know, we, we charged money at the door and we had raffle and things like that. And, you know, at the end of the day, we would be sitting there and, you know, of course we would go to dinner because that was already an, an established thing. You know, but after everyone sort of was getting ready to leave, we we're like, oh, you know, let's count up all this money. Let's see what happened. And we're like, Oh yeah, yeah. We came out twenty bucks ahead. All right, man. We're, we're we're like you know we didn't lose money on this show. You know, the next year we're like, well, we broke even. Let's make it. Let's have another show. You know, and so there was show every six months. You know, eventually that turned into four expos, three months apart. In the spring, there was the Lansing Expo, and then. In the summer, there was the Convex, and in the fall was the uh, SRAP Fall Commodore Expo, and in the winter was T-Pug's World of Commodore. So we got to see each other four times a year. You know, we had to travel far, and we had to get passports and things like that, but we had fun, you know. So the show started to be, you know, in addition to having dinner, there were some people who would go and maybe like meet at a bar after dinner and things like that. And then it started with like, you know, small rooms where we would just hang out in someone's room. And that's where the after party really kind of got started. One year I had gotten a travel bar from a thrift store in Indianapolis. I'm sure you, a lot of you have seen my travel bar. And I had brought that to the Spring Commodore Expo which I believe was the Lucky Expo. Again, it was like we went to dinner, we talked for an hour in the parking lot, and then, you know, we're like, well, hey, let's come back to our room, hang out some more, you know, and that was one of the spring expos. I can't remember which one it was right now, but I was there with Dave Ross and Scott McCoy and probably Jim Zurich and everyone else, you know, that had come from Chicago. Somehow we were lucky enough to get this corner room assigned to us, which was a little bit bigger than a regular room. It had kind of like a curving hallway. And I had my travel bar. And one of the accessories I had in my travel bar that year was an immersion blender. And 
So I was making blended frozen drinks, you know, like margaritas, pina coladas, things like that. I had all the things to do that with. I just mix them up in the ice bucket in the hotel from the hotel room and hey, you know, pass them out. We're there in the room, in the corner room with Dave Ross, Scott McCoy, me, Jim Missouri, whoever else. And there was also Jim Butterfield and Jerry Ellsworth and one of her friends and you know, I'm there. I'm, you know, we're hanging out. We're having fun. I'm, I'm mixing drinks. I'm making margaritas. I'm making bloody, uh, I'm not bloody Mary's, uh, pina coladas. Scott comes over to me and he's like, oh my God, dude, you got to come, 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 come away from everyone. I got to tell you something. I'm like, okay. So he's like, it's like, do you believe that we're here drinking margaritas and pina coladas with Jim Butterfield? I'm like, Oh my God, I can't believe that. I mean, for real. And that's where, like, I believe the SRAP, ECC, VCF Midwest after party actually got its start. I mean, this was before memes existed. The meme of I partied with Jim Butterfield. They made t-shirts, you know, that said, you know, I partied with Jim Butterfield. That was, you know, at the Lucky Expo. And um, the Lucky Expo turned out to be a two-day expo. Because it was held on Memorial Day weekend. Because that was in the spring. And that was the spring to summer transition. And they had one for Saturday and Sunday. So people can leave Sunday and still get home and have Monday off. That was the start of the, like, partying in the display room. Because they found a really nice place in, uh, outside of Louisville uh, for the Lucky Show. And it was Dale's side bottom. So Dale made the t-shirts that said, you know, I party with Jim Butterfield. And he ran the Lucky Expo. And he had this beautiful room that the hotel, they didn't care. They just like let us stay there all night. And we started doing that. And in fact, even after everybody left and we closed and locked down the room, we went to the business center with me and... Bo Zimmerman and Jim Mazurik and I can't remember who else. And we hacked on his Commodore Max trying to get composite video out on his Commodore Max. Over time, we hung out later and later. It was, it was great. And we had four expos. I mean, Convex, the Convex ex after party one of the years, I took everyone to DEF CON's after party for the convex after party because it was on the same weekend and jerry ellsworth was there and there was a roller derby conference and it was like insane the expos they went on and what and went on and the after party started to get more and more us people at srap which was at the time uh dave ross and scott mccoy and me and jim missouri we were all like, we want to build a better and better expo. We want to have better show than the last person did. And it turns out that we spaced on, like, we missed the announcement at the C4 Expo, which was the spring expo. We missed the announcement of our show. And since the internet hadn't quite caught on with as far as how you can distribute information, we were like, oh, man, we missed our spot to announce our show and you know what i think we're going to take a year off because we kept trying to make a bigger and better expo we were trying to look for a better venue and and everything we were not able to do that i mean we we you know it was only like four or five of us that were in the group that were planning this whole big show and we're like you know what we're going to take a year off there's not going to be a show this year so Jason Compton comes along and he's like, this is where I go to see all my old friends. If I have to fly to see each individual friend around the year, it's going to cost me a lot of money. I can just put like money down on the hotel room that this show had and just tell everyone to just come and have a great time. That was the start of the ECCC the Emergency Commodore Computer Convention. He's like, just come by. It's a free show. 
just come and hang out. Us at the strap meeting, we only met once a month, and that's where where we spaced on having the show. We we're, we're trying to make a bigger and better expo, but we in the in the meantime we wanted to make a more social expo where it wasn't just about the show; it was about having fun and interacting with people. And when Jason Compton put the money down on that room and said, here, just come to the show and have fun. That was like the birth of what we were trying to do. The spark of idea in our minds, he did just by, here's some money, have fun. The ECC show went on like that for four years. Thank, thank you to Jason Compton. You know, there was a little presentation room off to the side that was really not being used because everyone was just socializing. And us as the SRAP group, we didn't have to find people to fill up time to do demos and stuff like that. People just did their own demo at their own table. So ECC went like that for four years. Here comes the beginning of VCF. VCF started a few years before that. I was not at VCF 1 and 2. But VCF 1 to 4 was held at Purdue University on the campus in a room. And again, like the Lansing Expo, it was a 9 to 5 kind of show, you know, business hours. We went out afterwards and had dinner and hang and hung out and things like that. And then it was Purdue. So us Chicago people, that was like a quick drive. We went right home after that. So a lot of the people from Chicago were like, well, we should have VCF. I mean, you know, there was a year where it was off and we're like, we want to have VCF, but we didn't have our resources at Purdue anymore. And we're like, eh, what can we do? And we, you know, we looked at the other shows that were there, the video game shows, the computer shows, the SRAP show. We don't have enough resources to hold this show ourselves. Somebody in their infinite wisdom contacted Jason Compton and were like, can we piggyback on your show? You have this room here that you're not really using because you don't have any real demos. You know, the few demos that you can have, you have in, in we would have in the cafeteria lobby. So in 2010, VCF Midwest and ECC merged. You know, all these years at ECC, you know, the, the after party went from being in somebody's room to hanging out in the lobby at ECC. If any of you have seen Jerry's video of the animatronic cat, that was one of the strap parties, after parties, that we took over this breakfast nook in the hotel room. And, you know, Jerry was there. I was there. All the people were there having fun. And... Uh, our friend Cisco was DJing, and he had really good hand-eye coordination. So when Jerry made the animatronic cat with the joystick interface, he was able to sync it up to the music, and that was the awesome video that a lot of you guys saw uh, that happened. And that was at one of the ECC expos that was from the SRAP Expo. You know, the lobby party went on from there. They didn't have a problem with us hanging out in the lobby as long as we weren't making trouble. You know, one year in one of the Commodore Expos, there was a wedding there and the, the bride was being held away in shackles because of how rowdy they were. You know, they broke a fire plug in the hallway and flooded the hallway. But we were never like that. You know, we just were calm and had fun and, you know, partied and that was the lobby party and the lobby party continued on when we went to the holiday inn we took over their lobby i mean we had uh mr do in the lobby playing you can go and play mr do there's pictures of me playing mr do at like two in the morning we even outgrew the holiday inn you know we went on to the clarion and at that point it was like there was no blur between the party and the after show, the, the, the convention and the after show. We had access to, to the room for most of the day. Now we're doing it virtual. I want to say thank you to everyone who made SRAP, ECC, V5, 
BCF Midwest what it is today. I want you to all enjoy the after party. And remember, remember, you always miss 100% of the shots you don't drink. Thank you.